All right, what's going on everybody? I'm going to show you how to make a beat, more like a lo-fi type of beat, real quick using a tool called Splice. If you don't already have Splice, uh, it's an amazing tool, you need to go get it. If you want to, click below in the description of this video and you're gonna see a code where if you sign up through my code, I'm gonna get some free sounds. Hey, help a brother out, you know what I mean? So, uh, but anyway, I have another video explaining how to use Splice, so I'm not gonna go into explaining it, I'm just gonna get started and get going. So, we're gonna do a little lo-fi vibe. Dope. I'm gonna heart that and download it. Now, you can either go down here in your, uh, on your whatever it is, or you can go up and the icon will be here, doesn't matter, so you click it, boom, and all your splice sounds come alive, and then boom, there it is. Very, very easy. Now, what you can do is, right, you've gotta pay attention. So, there's a number and then there's gonna be a letter, right? The letter is what key the song is in, and then the number is the BPM. So what you're gonna do is, that number there is 100, so we're gonna go back here into Logic, there's your BPM, double click and type in the BPM, and then hit enter, bam. Now when you play the uh, metronome, I'm not hearing the metronome. Probably because happens audio there we go all right we're solid now got your BPM you do this, drag it, and drop it. Easy. Easy. Easy to do. Now we're in. I mean, it's just like, it's insane how easy this is, right? Now, if you know how to play piano, like I know how to play it, um, you know, you can go and throw some things in there. If you don't know, here's what you can do. We could try, you know, we can go back to the same pack. Like I do it like this all the time. Go back into this pack, type any BPM, type exact BPM, type in 100, update. Now it's gonna show you everything in 100 and then what I would do is I'd hit key and I'd hit F, bam. Now it's got all the samples here that are in F and that are 100. You could throw it all together like that. So we've got, so we've already got, Dope, that sounds kind of cool. We'll download that. What's this? I don't know about that. Don't like it. Nah. Oh, yeah. Boom. I honestly think that's enough. Three instruments right there. Bam. So now, this is what I like to do. I like to go back into Logic. We're going to go into sp Bring Up Splice. I already have that. Throw that in there. Look at that, it makes a new track, it does it all automatically, and then boom. All right, at first these are gonna sound a little crazy, but we'll play them. Something I like to do, like you're gonna hear, it's gonna sound like staticky, and that's mostly be like that can be fixed with a quick EQ. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solo this out just so you know what it is. I'm gonna hit the EQ thing right here. Now, what I like to do is I like to hit this analyzer, so it's gonna show where the frequencies are, right? So here's a quick tip, by the way. All this area right here from like 20 till 200, I'm gonna take out. All right, you click that, you drag it, oh, you drag it. All right, here's another tip. I like to click the dot, click these, take out more of it. Now you might ask, why am I taking that out? Well, again, I've made a video about this, but it's all about leaving space. It's all about leaving space, okay? 
all this frequency here from like 20 to 200, there's going to be two main instruments, the bass or 808 and the kick. So you don't want your piano to be taking up that space. You want to leave that. Now, the next thing I like to do is I also, <coughs> excuse me, like to take out the high end. Anywhere between 20K and 2K, that's going to be mainly where your vocals are. So just to be safe, I like to, right? It kind of sounds cool anyways. Boom. See, it's going to sound a lot smoother. Just way smoother then. Go in here and do this one. See? We've got that same problem where there's a bunch of frequencies from 20 to 200. No, that's where the kick is going to go in the 808. These samples are cool. And even with this, I'm going to even go further. See, now you can see like, see where it's peaking a lot, like right there. I'm going to actually raise that up just so we really, you know, it accentuates what it really wants to do. Right? And then boom. Let's hear this one. I'm telling you it's that same problem. That's not a problem, but it's like... I love these. I think these are really cool. This is a very interesting beat. Now, when we play it all together, it's going to sound a lot better. Now, another thing that you're going to want to do is pan. So, uh, I'll keep one instrument going middle, which I like this one the most, and I want that to be the lead. So, we'll have this one pan a little. Remember, as a beat maker, a producer, or whatever, when you're doing, in this part of the process, you want to leave space. That's what all these EQs are for, right? You look, remember, this is to leave room for the 808 kicks and all that. This is to leave room for the vocals. This is where your uh, melody instruments can sit, right here in that middle, right? And then, of course, you want to pan. Panning it just means what side you're going to hear it on. See, that's more to the right. Or that's more to the right, that's more to the left middle. So we're going to pan a little bit over here to the left, this one over to the right. This one even more, actually. I why it's doing that. It's like lagging. Dope. I'm going to call this, we're going to save it before I lose it. We'll call it a lo-fi beat F mage and then 100. I'll come up with an actual name later, but for right now, that's what I got. All right, so great. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add our drums. So I like to use this thing called Ultra Beat. Now I want to show, um, you know, I, again, I have another video where I show you how to drag and drop drums into Ultra Beat. So I'm not going to go over that again. I'm just going to keep going. Um, um, you know, but I, but I would, you know, maybe I would like to hear some of this guy's drums, though. Hold on one sec. Let's go. Um, let's just go update and let's go reset. All right. Let's see what he's got here. Let's see what he's got going on. I got any drums? Drum loops. Yeah, I personally am not going to pick drum loops. I would like to. I like that. All right, I'm gonna download that. That's like a kick. Oh no, that's. There we go. I like that too. Just looking for drums now. No. Any hi hats? Very weird uh, pack here, but I like it. Drums. You know, I really want to find some hi hats. Does this guy even have any hats? I don't think he has any hats in here. I 
All right, forget all this, man. I got two instruments. That's fine. I'm gonna minimize this window. All right, so we go back to our splice. Um, we've got our kick and snare. Check this out. So to drag and drop, you're gonna go here to this. You're gonna click this. Scroll down. Drum kits, and you're gonna scroll down until you find one called drag and drop samples. Click. Now everything's empty. What you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop it right there. Let it go. Bam. Now it's there. Why well, it's not playing yet, I'm not sure. Probably have to save it. All right. We'll call that kick. And then we're going to click here for the next one. See how I did that? And then we'll just call that a snare. Okay. And this guy, his name is Touch Elements. I'll call that Lo-Fi, it's called Lo-Fi Bliss. So save as Lo-Fi Bliss Drums. Sweet. Now, right, boom. Let me try something here. So now when you're done, what you want to do is you want to click here on the green and hit the Q on your keyboard. Watch how they move. See how they move very tiny? That's called quantize. Now what you're going to also want to do, by the way, you want to make separate tracks for all your drums. Personally, that's what I like to do because you're going to EQ stuff, throw different effects. So what you're going to want to do is here and hit this button right here. This is duplicate track. Bam. Now you are gonna you're going to here's what you're gonna do. If you have an Apple, well yeah, if you're using Logic Pro, you're gonna have an Apple. Click here, hold down Alt on your keyboard. See how that plus popped up? Right there. Don't let go of Alt, let go of your mouse. Now you've got it, it's duplicated. Alright? Here's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna solo this out. We're gonna go here to the scissors, and I'm gonna just delete the kick. And then here, I'm going to do the same thing, but delete the snare. So now, this is the kick. This is the snare. Bam. Turn it down a little bit. Yep. Next thing I like to do, I like to EQ. So let's hear the kick. Now, as you can see, this kick's got more high end than I would like. So we're going to do what's called a... I don't even know what kind. It's a high pass or something or low cut. No, not low cut. High cut. I don't even know. Take a little bit of the low end out because you don't want too much of that. This is a very interesting kick. Hey. Now here's the snare. Okay, now this snare has hella, hot, hella low end. Here we go. take some of the high end out too now let's hear how this sounds it's gonna sound different but that's okay that's good it's really crazy because you could have You know what's so wild is you could actually turn that into the kick. Oh, wow. This was actually originally the snare, but this is now going to be the kick. I'm going to switch this up. Huh. Oh, wow. 
How wild is this? Hmm. We're switching it up. That's so crazy. My bad, y'all. Oops, let's try it again. I'm going to take that out. But other than that, we get to go. Quantize, quantize. That's so crazy. Originally, the, what I thought was going to be the kick and what I thought was going to be the snare, I switched. Hey. One, two, three. Hey. Okay. Let's bring in some hi hats. I want to have some, some hi hats that have got some pretty solid high end to it. Lo fi medicine drum. Cloud hip hop. That's cool. Nexus, man, sorry. If you don't have Nexus, get it. It's super dope. <laughs> sorry if you don't have it. Nah. Try it again. Let's hear how that sounds. I'm not sure about it, but let's hear it. I think it's good. You know, I'm going to take a bunch of that. Remember we were talking about that high end, low end. Boost up the low ends a little here. Basic pulse. And we're going to pan the kick a tiny 
tiny bit. Tiny bit. So the high, just so the low ends. Actually, no, we're not. Do that. I mean, hey, low low five, low low five vibes. Honestly, I could get a massage to this beat. That's how you do it. Hey, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do a lot more videos on this kind of thing, marketing, yada, 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 yada. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, hit the like on this video. Hit the bell notification so that you know every time I put out a video. And I will see you next time.